Now, we've been talking about tackling these record highs, not only for yesterday, but also today. But it, hey, seven day forecast shows us winter's on its way. Cooler temperatures are coming, and so now we need to talk about heat in the house. And so we're going to bring in our own Jesse Irwin, share some things in mind when it comes to a space heater versus your traditional HVAC. And Jesse, what were you able to find out? Well, let me start by saying, Michael, that there's no one size fits all formula for the most cost efficient way to bring the heat. All right? And that being said, there are several ways to evaluate your game plan and make sure your bills aren't rising faster than the temperature in your house. Now, with space heaters, you want to keep an eye on how much energy it uses. The economics of this really just comes down to the wattage of the space heater, the efficiency of your heating system, and your utility rate. So, Let's just use this example. Your average space heater runs about 1500 watts. Running that for six hours per day for 30 days will cost you roughly 30 to $35, right? But if you run it for 10 hours per day, well, now we're paying approximately $60 for 30 days. Now, whether that makes sense for you to make that investment, it primarily depends on the size of your house and the temperature you're looking at to keep your house at. Right? Yet, Bob Hawkins, who specializes in HVAC for CDL Electric, he reminds us that electric space heaters do pose their risks, and while they can work well when we're in between seasons, they're not really designed to be a primary source of heat. The problem with the electric space heaters is they don't have all the safeties designed into them to shut themselves off if something is wrong. So to just plug one in, turn it on, leave, you may come back to a burned down house. If you're going to use them, check the cord periodically. If the cord's getting hot, you have a problem. At the same time, proper use of a well-designed space heater can be a nice way to complement your main heating system when you want to give it a minute to breathe. The Department of Energy says dialing back your thermostat seven to 10 degrees for eight hours per day can save you as much as 10% annually on heating and cooling. So. Uh, you know, we're going to throw some great resources from the Department of Energy in this story on our morning show page, uh, including a calculator to help you weigh your options. It, it, it's pretty fascinating stuff, Michael. And with it being the first night of Hanukkah, I'm hoping the candles can sort of heat the house as well. So there's all sorts of ways to heat up the home. Well, you're not going to worry, need to worry about it not only today, but tonight we're going to be okay. But over the weekend, yeah, you're going to be looking for a little extra help.